all right so it's time for us to basically launch power bi desktop so that we can have an understanding of what the interface looks like and uh, at the basics we need to understand what the names of the different sections of the power bi desktop are it is nothing difficult and it is actually what i like to describe as iiwii and wysiwyg are you confused they simply mean it is what it is and what you see is what you get and i'm going to describe what i mean by these things when we get to look at the interface of the power bi desktop so for me to launch my power bi desktop now i'll basically go to my tax bar and i'm going to do a search here where i will just type power bi and once i see power bi desktop click on it to launch the application so when you launch power bi desktop it is very possible for you to see a whole lot of pop-ups in your face and you don't have to worry about all of these pop-ups because what we are just going to do is every single pop-up that shows up we are going to close them all so i'll simply come right here close this pop-up come here close this pop-up and then i have this other one here which i'm also going to close so now i have my power bi desktop user interface clean and clear and what we want to do right now is just for us to understand the name of the different sections of the power bi desktop the names are important because as we continue to work through power bi we will always mention the names of different places for us to go to to take out certain actions so we are going to start from the top of the power bi desktop where you see a couple of menu tabs so we call or we refer to these guys as tabs we have the home tab we have the insert tab the modeling tab and so on and so forth so what we have underneath every tab are all housed within a ribbon so you can see right here that we have different buttons that we can click on to do different things right and each of these buttons basically are grouped into different sections so on the home tab for example we have a group for clipboard that has something to do with anything you copy we have another group for data and as you can see it is what it is and what you see is also what you get right so you can see get data here for example you have group for queries insert and so on and so forth if you go into the next tab which is the insert tab you are also going to see different groups of things that are also available here but not to worry as we get to use each one of these guys you are going to see what and why they are useful and what we actually use them for so at the top of your power bi desktop you have your tabs the next place we want to take a look at is the right hand section so on the right hand section we have something that we call pins p-a-n-e or to put in another way panels right so we have different panels for also doing different kind of things by default you should see three of them that you have the fields pane you have the visualizations pane and you have the filters pane these panes are things that you can expand and collapse so right now i have my fields pane and my filters pane currently collapsed and my visualization pane is actually expanded so i can also collapse the visualization pane by clicking on this arrow that i have here and i can expand them by using the arrows again so the usefulness for each of these panes you are also going to find out right so just uh as a quick recap i will always do this quick recap so that you can always master these names as quickly as possible so we have at the top here the tabs home tab insert tab modeling tab etc on the right hand side here we have different panels fields pane visualizations pane and filters pane the simplest of them all is what we have at the bottom which are the pages just like you would have in powerpoint where you can have slide one slide two slide three or in excel where you can have sheet one sheet two sheet three so you have the pages right here at the bottom by default you should see just a single page you can use a plus icon here to basically create new pages okay now if you have noticed you will see that i'm basically describing the sections in a clockwise manner starting from the tabs at the top all the way to the panels on the right hand side and then the pages at the bottom then obviously you know where i have to go next on this left hand side you can see that we have three icons these three icons we refer to them as the views right now if you want to describe it in a different way you can call them screens 
basically what they mean is when you launch power bi desktop you are going to be faced with a particular view or a particular screen now when you hover on it you will see the names for each one of them so currently we are on the report view or we are on the report screen so this is a view where we get to create reports if you hover on the second one you are going to see that that's data so if i click on that data view which is currently empty now this is the view or the screen where you get to see the data that you have imported and then we have another view here called the model view where you get to see the relationships between the different tables that you have imported into your power bi you get to understand more about the model view as you progress within the course so i'll simply go back to the default view which is always the report view so now i've basically touched on the entire parts of the clock the tabs at the top the pins on the right hand side the pages at the bottom and then the views on the left hand side one thing i haven't mentioned yet is the center of the page so this center of the page is what we call the canvas and that's where we get to create the report this is like the center of attraction everything we do in power bi basically comes down to creating something on this canvas